So a lot of you people have been asking me how I connect my analog console into the computer. The analog console is a Yamaha PM3500. The main purpose when the console was built was for live concerts and broadcast. However, you can use this in the studio also. It has great, the preamps are great and the EQ is great. It's a 52 channel console. It's got 48 uh, mono channels and it got four stereo channels. All the channel has mic, mic online input and all the channel has direct output and you also have inserts uh, for all the channels. And the way that I have set this up, since it's not an inline console, I have split the console. So the first 16 channels is mic preamps and the last eight channels is mic preamps. I use those only for mic. So that's 24 channels that I just connect the microphones and they go straight into the patch bay. And the other 24 channel is connected to the computer through the interface. So 24 channel going out of the interface is going into the console. So from here to there. And then they go from the top to the bottom to the fader and then it goes straight back into the sound card. But I also have a lot of output gears uh, that I want to use and connect. So the way I do that is uh, I have also put all the inserts, the 24 channel in, uh, from the door, they are connected to the patch bay on the inserts. And the insert can also use as a line in if you like. So let's say I'm recording a kick drum. I connect a microphone into channel one. The channel one goes then into the patch bay. Then I'm patching it to channel 17 on the console. And 17 on the console, the insert on 17 on the console, it's in the patch bay and it's connected to, you guess it, channel one on the interface. And that's how I record my signals into the computer. Yeah, so then when I'm mixing, my channel from the door goes from 17 to 44. And that means it's 24 channels coming out of the computer and it's going back in. I'm using uh, Logic Pro X. I don't know what door you use and I don't know what it's called in your uh, door, but you have something similar, I'm pretty sure. In Logic it's called IO plugin which means that it's routing, you can use it as a plugin, but it's routing the in and out of the sound card. You have to use in out uh, plugin on 24 channels to be able to get it out to the console. So first you come in the preamp and then you go through the EQ. And after the EQ, you have the inserts point. And in the inserts point, you can use a compressor or you can use, uh, I don't know, I guess an other, I guess knee style EQs or I don't know, you name it. Uh, so that's where you go. So you go out on the insert, and the insert is connected to the patch bay. So just remember that. And then it goes down to the fader, and the fader sends it back direct, direct out into the console or uh, into the computer. I'm not that good to explain these things, but I think you understand what I'm trying to say here. So I'm plugging in the microphone on 24 channels. I'm routing it through the patch bay to the insert of the 24 channels to my door. And then when I'm going out of the door to mix, then we're going out from the 24 channels in and out of the sound card into the computer or into the console. And then we're using the insert points to connect compressors and stuff. So the, the console becomes a plugin in the door and then the insert on all the channels is kind of like a plugin that I can plug in anything I like. That's pretty much how I do the hybrid mix that I do. One thing that I didn't talk about was, was the, these, these guys. These guys have four stereo channels. Uh, these guys are not connected straight into the computer. These guys goes into the patch bay. I have a couple of reverbs and delays that's connecting to those. So this is just so I can ride the reverb and delays with faders instead of just putting in an amount that's just going to be there. 
So until next time, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment. Until next time, bye.